welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nay Nicole, and in today's video, I'm gonna be spilling all the tea on how to start a successful YouTube channel. Just a little backstory on myself. I have been on YouTube since 2010, where it was just a little hobby that I used to do. I would hide in my room and record videos. Um, I used to do beauty videos, and I would do fashion videos and things of that nature. Um, and then in 2019, I decided to start a completely new channel. I wanted something new, something fresh. And since then, I have gained now over 200,000 subscribers. I have had multiple videos go viral here on YouTube. So just know that you guys are getting all the tea. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I did it. I get loads and loads of DMs asking like, how did your videos go viral? Or what did you do? How do I start a YouTube channel? And I'm going to be doing an entire series here on my channel. This will just be part one, giving you guys the tips and tricks on how to do it. And then I'll lay everything else out for you guys. Make sure you grab a notebook so that I can drop all these gems for you. You guys can absorb all this information. I also will have timestamps linked down below in the description as well. So if you're interested in just one topic, so make sure you check that description box. Also, if you guys aren't a follower, you guys don't already know, Know, I was able to quit my full-time job and make YouTube my complete full-time revenue. So if I was able to do this, you guys are able to do this as well. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly what I did. If you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that like button down below and also hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you turn your post notifications, hit that little bell and turn it to all so that you guys can be notified every single time that I upload here on my channel. I'm dropping gems all 22. 22, so you guys are going to want to continue to ride this journey right along with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first steps of creating a successful YouTube channel is going to be finding your niche. What is your niche? What kind of videos do you plan to film on your channel? So for example, you can film beauty videos, you can do fashion videos, you can be a lifestyle vlogger and just show your life. You can do a fitness channel if you are into skiing, you can do skiing videos. It's very, very important to find your niche so that you can reach the audience that you're looking to reach. You want to make sure that you're reaching an audience that enjoys your type of videos. For example, I do entrepreneurial videos here on my channel. So I've now reached an audience that is interested in becoming an entrepreneur. They're interested in starting their own business. You want to make sure that you reach an audience that is interested in your content because you want to make sure that your audience is going to engage in your content. You're going to make sure that they want to watch your content, that they're interested in it. So finding your niche is very, very, very important. That's the first step on starting a YouTube channel. So the next step is going to be filming equipment. What do you plan to film your YouTube videos with? Now I'm going to tell you right now in order to start a YouTube channel you do not need the most expensive equipment to film. You do not need the new Canon D5602 that costs $2,000. You do not need the most expensive lighting. You don't need even need a ring light. You just truly need good lighting and good camera quality. So I'm pretty Pretty sure you all have heard this before but it is possible to start a YouTube channel with just a cell phone. Literally all you need is great quality video filming whether that be on an iPhone whether that be on an Android you just want to make sure that you have great audio as well as a great resolution of camera because no one wants to see something that's really dark and really grainy and things of that sort so if you have to record with the back of your iPhone the back of your Android that is great enough. Also it is very very important to have great lighting as well because nine times out of ten no one wants to sit and watch a video that's really dim where we're not able to completely see you um and you know something that's really grainy and pixelated that's no, it's 2022. We want to make sure that we're upping our quality. So like I said, um, if you have to film with the back of your phone and just flip your phone over, do it. it. iPhones have amazing quality. I personally have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and my quality is great. Okay. I don't use my phone to um, record myself just because I have thousands of dollars worth of equipment now but just know in order to start your youtube channel off you do not need it at all now when it comes to lighting daytime lighting is best so if you're able to sit in front of a window if you're able to find the spot in your home that is the brightest that is where you're going to want to film now you can dress your background up and do whatever you want to or even just a blank white wall i found that works best for me um you don't really want to have your background too busy because you want your audience to be focused on you not so much what's going on in the background and also you want to make sure that you find an area that is quiet 
quietness is so 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 very important you want to make sure that there isn't a lot of background noise going on so that your audience is able to focus on exactly what you're saying and not what's going on in the background now I do also want to let you all know if you all are interested in investing in your YouTube equipment I will be having a video coming up next with my suggestions on filming equipment that you can use for your YouTube channel so if the video is currently live I will have it linked up in the eye I believe it's on this side and I'll also have it linked down below in the description box so that you all can go check that video out as well so my next tip I kind of touched on in my last tip but that is the background so like I was stating before you want to make sure that you have a clean background you want to make sure it's not too messy um like I stated before a white wall is almost always best um or just whatever color your wall is just filming in front of a wall where there's not too much going on um that is best however whatever your background is you want to just make sure it's not too busy and then noise you want to make sure that you're in a nice quiet place secluded so that you're able to completely focus on the video that you're filming and also that it's not too much background noise going on where it's going to distract your audience or even make them click off of your video because you want them to stay for the entire duration of your video so the next step now you filmed your video and now it's time to edit and let me tell you editing is very very important um i don't personally enjoy watching like one take videos but there's a lot of like dead air and there's a lot of ums and a, a lot of things that could just be cut out so as for editing software there are a lot of free softwares out there for you to use if you are an iPhone user or an iMac user or a MacBook user um, iMovie is completely free it is very very user friendly there are thousands of tutorials on how to use iMovie on the internet you can do it on your phone you can do it on your iPad your MacBook your iMac whatever you want to use you can do it now if you are a Android user or a Windows user I'm not completely familiar with those platforms however I would try going to your app store or going to Google typing in free editing software and there I'm pretty sure are tons of free programs that you're able to download and to use in order to edit your videos but editing is very very important you want to make sure that you're editing out any dead air you want to make sure that you're editing out even you coming into the camera and sitting down those are things that like you want your viewers to really watch the entire duration of your video and things like you coming are you coughing or even sneezing or things like that you want to make sure that you cut them out because you want people to stick around so my next tip is going to be branding you want to make sure when starting a YouTube channel that you are branding your content so for example that is having a YouTube banner that has your YouTube name on it um, you can also have both an intro and outro so what a YouTube intro and outro are the little video that played in the very very beginning of my YouTube video where it had my name and pictures of me that is a YouTube intro and then at the end of your video you can have something that's called a YouTube outro and that can also feature pictures of you um, videos as well as it'll link your audience to watch your next video so YouTube branding is very very important it's pretty much what makes your channel you but the YouTube intro even though it is not a necessity it's kind of like when you're watching a show and the titles come on and the theme song starts to play it, that that's sort of the vibe that it gives for a YouTube channel um, I know that for like my favorite creators on YouTube I sing along with their song and I know I get for example my song for my YouTube intro I get loads and loads of people asking like what song is this and I get people singing along with that as well so yeah a YouTube intro is very very fun it's a way to dress up your channel it's a way to make your channel unique and if you guys are looking for someone to create your YouTube intro intros and outros I actually offer that service for my graphic design business which is called nay effects I will have my Instagram linked down below so if you guys are interested in me creating a YouTube intro outro a banner um, any YouTube graphics or branding and design be sure to follow me on Instagram and on my Instagram I do have examples of my previous work um, so if you're not even familiar with YouTube intros and how my packages and things work I have loads and loads of examples on my Instagram so make sure that you guys go head over there if you're interested in purchasing so the next step now you have your video filmed edited and what's going to reel your audience in and how you're going to be able to gain an audience get people to click on your video is going to be the thumbnail 
I have to express to you how important a good thumbnail is. Take your time with your thumbnail. Make sure that you're analyzing your thumbnail. Would I click on this video based off of this little tiny picture? Because the thumbnail matters so much. Yes, it's such a tiny, tiny picture, but just know it's what make people click on your videos. The title's important as well, but the thumbnail is what reels people in. This aspect of uploading a YouTube video is going to be the title. This is another very, very, very important aspect you want to make sure that you are keeping your title very sweet straight to the point and you also want to make sure that you are using keywords for searchability you want to be using keywords that people are searching for that is how they're going to be able to find your YouTube videos so for example if you're going to be uploading a cooking video on how to make a tender steak you want to make sure that you are using those words you want to use keywords that people are searching for because that's how they're going to be able to find your content now I'm gonna to be touching just a little bit on clickbaiting I'll have a definition here on the screen if you guys aren't familiar with clickbaiting but pretty much clickbaiting is when someone uses a title that is dramatic in order to grab the audience attention I am NOT always opposed to clickbaiting however it has to fit the content of the video let me just tell you as a YouTube viewer as well as a YouTube creator I have seen so many insane clickbait titles um, but I just state that it is very, very important to gain the trust of your audience. You don't want to name the title of your video something that has absolutely nothing to do with the video that your viewers are going to be watching because it's going to you're going to begin to lose trust in your viewers because they're going to click on that video intending to watch what your video was titled and then your video have little to nothing to do with at all what you titled the video. So you want to just make sure that you are, you know, if you do clickbait, if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic just to, you know, gain an audience attention, at least make it worth their weight. At least make it have to do with the content of the video. That is my advice from me to you as a viewer, as a creator. You just want to make sure that you're not just you can be dramatic just not too dramatic okay <laughs> so the next portion is going to be your description and keywords so I do oftentimes see where creators don't fill in their description box let me explain to you how important a description box is your description box is going to allow your audience to get more details about the video so for example items that you have mentioned in your video you're able to link in your description box your social media outlets where you also want your new viewers to be able to follow you on other social media networks or um, even interact in other content that you may build on other platforms for example like patreon or if you have an OnlyFans, or if you have a twitch um, for example you'll be able to link all of that information in your description box where your audience can follow you on other platforms um, as well if you have a business that you would like for your audience to support you can have that link down below the description box is not to be neglected make sure that you are very thorough with your description box make sure that you are linking things that you mentioned in your videos because nine times out of ten um, if someone's watching your video and they're interested in something that you're showing or they're interested in you and they really like you a lot and now they want to follow you on Instagram and you don't have that link down below that's an opportunity that you missed out on having you know gaining a new follower here and there and things of that nature so don't neglect the description box I love it there and also if you're a creator make sure that you are leaving an email in your description box as well for brand sponsorship opportunities for um, your subscribers to maybe even reach out to you if that's you know something that you do on your channel as well but you want to make sure that you are leaving an email address as well that you can be reached at for um, any opportunities or things of that nature but make sure that is something that you are leaving in your description box as well another thing that can be linked in your description box as well is your previous videos you want people to not only just look at one video the current video that you're uploading you want them to stick around you want them to make sure that they're watching all of your content so listing your previous videos in your description box is another very very great technique on how you can reel your audience in that you can gain a long time viewer because that's our ultimate goal one view is nice but you want them to stick around and watch all your content so the next aspect of uploading a video is going to be keywords so when you're uploading a YouTube video there's going to be a section there for tags and you're going to be able to tag different keywords in order for 
people to be able to find your videos. So keywords are very, very, very important. These are the things that people are going to be typing in the search bar of YouTube when they're searching for a video and how they're gonna be able to find your videos. So when I tell you, keywords are what you're going to want to pay attention to. The thumbnail is what's gonna reel people in as well as the title. The title is gonna back up your thumbnail, but the keywords are how people are going to be able to find your content. So when I tell you keywords are so, 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 so important, I can't stress this enough. Make sure that you are making your keywords things that are relevant to your content. You don't wanna make your keywords about fashion if you're having a food channel. You don't wanna be making your keywords about food if you have a skiing channel or a hockey channel. You wanna make sure that everything is going hand in hand as to what you're uploading on your channel so it gives you a better chance of new viewers finding your videos. So the next step, I'm not sure if you all caught on to when I mentioned earlier about linking a video in the cards. I believe it's on this side. It's also sometimes referred to as the eye. It's just a little bubble that'll pop up at the top of the screen and it'll have a video title. So that's a way that you're able to also link previous videos or um, link even your newest videos on your channel. So I highly, highly, highly recommend using the cards feature here on YouTube. It's a way that you're going to be able to grasp your audience and you know, keep them around so that they watch your previous content so that they watch your next video. So yeah, cards, key. Now this next thing is going to be the hardest part of your YouTube journey. It is something that I have been struggling with for so, so, so very long. And that is going to be posting consistently posting consistently. Now, if you're watching this video, nine times out of 10, you are probably a YouTube viewer as well. I want you to think about your favorite YouTube creator. And I want you to think about if they were to rarely ever upload on their channel and how frustrating as a viewer that is, where you really, really enjoy their content. You wanna see more, you want more, you want more, you want more, and they don't upload consistently. Uploading consistently is going to better your chances of showing in people's subscription box. Uploading consistently is going to keep you fresh in people's mind. The, your viewer is going to continue to keep checking back to your channel. They're going to be like, oh, Nay Nicole, yeah, I wonder what new video she's put out this week. And that's something that I, myself, as a creator, have struggled with, okay? But it's a new year. We are working on building new and better habits. So, Uploading consistently is going to be the key to growing your channel. I know in the beginning with starting a YouTube channel, it could be very, very discouraging when you're putting a lot of effort into your videos and you may not be seeing the views that you're expecting to see. However, uploading consistently is going to be your key to getting picked up in YouTube's algorithm. It is gonna be your key to YouTube pushing your video out to new viewers, the key to getting your videos to show higher in the search categories. Just upload consistently, okay? Plan out your content. Planning out your content is very, very important as well. It's very hard as a creator to just come up with an idea at the top of your head um, or to just sit down and say, what am I gonna to film today? be thinking about content and be thinking about video ideas and write them down so that you're able to refer back to them later on. Just pre-plan out your content. It's gonna help you and save so, so, so very much time. Also, as for uploading on your channel, once a week is a minimum. The more often that you're able to create good quality content, because you don't wanna just be putting out anything, but the more often that you're able to upload on your channel, the better. It's gonna keep you new and fresh in people's minds. People are going to continue to check back and it's gonna, have your channel perform the best. So yes, I know when starting off, you can feel a little burnt out. You're like, I'm putting out all this content. My views just aren't exactly where I want them to be. But just know keeping and building those good habits from the very, very beginning of starting your channel is going to start you off with the best habits for becoming a YouTube creator, as well as gaining a core audience that continues to come back and check for your content. And then my last and final tip for starting a successful YouTube channel is going to be promote, 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 promote. So if you have other social media networks such as Instagram, TikTok, if you have a Facebook page, if you have a Twitter, any other social media networks that you have, make sure that you are promoting your content. You want people that are currently following you to engage in your content, whether that be um, people from your school or people that you may have worked with or even internet friends that you've made. You want them to 
watch your content. Why not? Don't hide it from the world. You want to promote, promote, promote. And it may seem like they're not clicking on your content and may seem like they're not seeing your post, but I promise you they're watching. Okay. Just take it from me they're watching. So you want to make sure that you're promoting on all of your social media platforms. The more often you're able to promote, the better. Now, as for paid promotion, I don't know about that. I haven't personally done that myself. However, if you feel like that's a good avenue for you, if you feel like that's a way that you're going to be able to gain, because gaining subscribers is not all about the numbers. You want to make sure that you are gaining a core audience, people that are not just going to subscribe to your videos, but people that are actually going to come back to watch your videos. The subscriber count, it looks nice, but when people, your subscriber count and your video views aren't adding up, you know, doesn't feel too great. So you want to make sure that you are grabbing an audience that is actually going to be watching your content. But like I said, promote, promote, and promote. Send your videos to your friends and family. Send your videos to your previous teachers. <laughs> Just promote yourself in any way possible. Yes, it is 2022. It is no longer the time like back in 2010 when I first started my channel. Having a YouTube channel and being like a YouTube, it was like a beauty guru back then. But um, that was something that not too many people were familiar with. Like where I'd be out vlogging with my camera in Target, people were looking at me like, what is this girl doing? But now it's 2022, we're in a day and age of social media and becoming a YouTube creator is not a foreign thing anymore. So you just wanna make sure that you are promoting in any way possible. Don't be embarrassed, this is not a secret. I know when I started, it was like a little secret thing that I was doing. I didn't really want people that I knew in real life to see it, but don't be ashamed of anything that you're doing okay <laughs> because like i said it may seem like people aren't watching your content but they are watching so yeah so yeah that is all of the tips and tricks that i personally have for how to start a successful youtube channel i will be having more detailed videos so if there was one particular topic that you're interested in hearing me talk more about be sure to leave that down in the comments down below and I will definitely touch on that in a future video. Also, like I stated before, I will be doing a completely separate video on my essential equipment or suggestions on equipment for starting a YouTube channel. So be sure to check back for that video if you're watching this video currently or if not, be sure to check that description box down below as well because I will be having that link. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.